Hi mga kalagan! Ako si Kalagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Sugbo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Sugbo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Sugbo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant king na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Mr. Island Tourism 2023, who will be representing Pasay City, we have a Mr. Jose Antonio Salazar. Hi guys. Hello Jose, how are you? Doing good. Good. Now, here at La Agansa Subo, we have the segments. The first segment that we have is the boiling question. But the question is, are you ready? Of course, I'm ready. Good. Now, there are boiling questions here. I want you to pick one first and give it to me. Okay. All right. Your first boiling question is, what is the hardest part about winning and what is the hardest part about losing? So when it comes to winning, uh, as good as it sounds, winning comes with responsibility in it. So when you always win, there are certain times when you become complacent. And you tend to relax. And then certain good habits, uh, you tend to forget about them, certain routines. Mm -hmm. So it is tough to be a winner, but it is harder to remain a winner. And in losing, it is very hard to accept defeat, especially when you know 100% in your mind and in your, in, in your heart that you did your best mm -hmm. in order to get what you want but instead you fall you fall short and then uh you feel that you aren't enough your best isn't enough in fact that you gave it all mm -hmm. you gave your time your effort your sweat and still like you didn't reach your goal that that you wanted and yes accepting defeat and putting your ego down is a very hard thing to do and then I deal with losing. I take it as a fuel to motivate me mm -hmm. uh, to improve myself and to find other ways or uh, think about strategies in order for the next times or next competitions, you will be ready and you will be prepared. Just focus on yourself and when you lose, just have to keep your head up and mm -hmm. don't take it too seriously like just use it as a fuel for your journey and it will make you a stronger person absolutely correct and also what uh, about when you're talking about losing um it give you a lesson yes. for you to learn for your next journey naman diba pick your next boiling question Alright, okay. Oh, salang. Oh, <laughs> natin ulit. Okay, sige. Your next boiling question is, share your advocacy and how can Mr. Island Tourism 2023 organization help you with this? So, one of my advocacies is um, keeping a strong mind and a healthy body because... I am a very active person and I indulge in many physical activities all throughout my week. Uh, I do sports and I work out at the gym. I play soccer. I do some boxing mm -hmm. and I do other sports for fun. Also, I support uh, some practices and disciplines that builds your character and help you to have a strong mind and this competition will help me scale my platform into more audiences that I can communicate with and share my experiences to them. I see. So you are an athlete pala. Yes, yes no man, no. And also being an athlete also is being um, physically Healthy set. Yeah. Okay. Pick your next boiling question. And it's getting more interesting, deba. Right? All right. Okay. Your next boiling question is 
what are the qualities of a Filipino that you want to emphasize in Mr. Island Tourism 2023? Uh, okay, so one of my favorite parts of being a Filipino is how we are so resilient. We experience a lot of um, difficulties, especially that our country is prone to uh, certain calamities and natural disasters. And during these times, Filipinos are strong enough and that they keep going with a smile regarding the situation. And then sometimes they can even joke about the situation even if it's in the worst cases. Yes. So this is one of the things that I like about being a Filipino. Yes, naman. No. Being resilient. And tama ka naman dun. Kahit marami, marami problema yung Pinoy, tumatawa pa rin. Positive mindset lang always. Tama. Alright, nakalaga. No? So, the questions are getting more interesting. But before we proceed with our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to personally thank Team Flora Dermatoleka for always making me fresh because I am Team Flora Touch. And I would like to personally thank also City Center Suite for the accommodation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's lighten up. Let's listen up. Because our next segment is the Fast Talk. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Fast Talk. Hot or cold? Cold. Oh, hindi. Marte ka ba? How many times do you take a bath? Twice. No cell phone or internet? No cell phone. Mestiza or morena? Uh, morena. Walang tulog o walang kain? Walang kain. Favorite pastime? Gin. Island life or city life? Island life. Sex or chocolate? Chocolate. Beauty or brain? Brain. Travel or books? Travel. Sweet or spicy? Spicy. YouTube or Netflix? Uh, YouTube. Hashtag ng buhay mo. Hashtag mind over matter. Hashtag mind over matter. All right. Can you please invite our Laagan sa Cebu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for the upcoming Mr. Island Tourism 2023. Go ahead. So, guys, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is at Chino Salazar, okay? And you can add me on Facebook, Jose Antonio Salazar. Uh, thank you for watching this, and I hope to see you soon, guys. And thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Alright, once again, makalagan our Mr. Island Tourism 2023, who will be representing Pasay City. We have Mr. Jose Antonio Salazar. Thank you very much for guesting here at Lagan sa Subo. Thank you as well. Congratulations on being part of Mr. Island Tourism 2023, and good luck for your upcoming competition. Thanks for that. You're welcome. So don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Lagan sa Subo. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalagan Fritz nagsasabi, stay safe, be a responsible Kalagan, and this is Lagan sa Subo.